And then I've also already been dealing with feeling lonely and isolated. So I'll be damned if I go to a dinner with my friends and sit there for two hours and literally just sit there in a whole restaurant and just, I've been joking about this like smile away boys, just smile away, but y'all took it a little too literally. <laughs> and I left home to escape depression and disrespect. So I'll be damned if I come to the island or anywhere in the country and I feel the same thing with other people, you know what I mean? It's an energy thing and I just, I no longer align with that energy. Now, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> but yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Look at that beautiful sunset. I'm so proud of myself yesterday so I redirected all the emotion and energy that I was, whew, I was like, I'm not exploding. I did yoga, I was stretching, I was feeling really good. I felt my body growing and adapting a little bit. I listened to music. I ate something, I relaxed, I had a good call with a friend about life and loneliness and this and that and it was it was a touching conversation and then I got refocused because for me the thing is if people gonna do me dirty I'm gonna just do myself better so like if I feel like you kind of slighting me I'm gonna literally just go work on myself like self-care self-improvement and become a better version of myself because clearly I'm making people uncomfortable I think there might be a little intimidation or I don't know. I've noticed it's usually like the lonely, the lazy or the insecure who kind of start to pick fights that you're not picking. Like it starts with little jabs or little shady comments or little jokes. And it usually comes from a place of insecurity. Like you could tell, you could, just, you could always tell after years of psych. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I love psychology. I'm not a professional, okay? I'm no psych professional, but I do people that peep. <laughs> I do people that peep. And if it's not a big deal to you, that's fine. It's a big deal for me, and I'm just gonna remove myself out of the situation. It's literally no drama. It's no, oh, dun dun dun, story time, tea, shade. Like, it's just not the energy I vibe with. It's not the frequency I vibe with. So I'm gonna go vibe on a different frequency. Like, Look at that. How can you be? I don't know. I ain't mad at nothing. I ain't mad at nothing. Look at that. Look at that. Like, what? What? <laughs> anyway, y'all, that is that. Beautiful two weeks, but there are people you can hang out with without having to worry about all that. So, <laughs> let's continue on our little adventure. Like I said, no hate, no shade, no tea, none of it. Just observation and personal growth. Also, another traveler rule. You have to always have cash on you. Like, even when you spend your last, go get some more. Because one of my rules is that I don't get in people's car unless I have a way to get back without their car. Like, I've always been, I've had issues with that before, ever since I was young. So, I don't like being in people's vehicles. I'd rather just be in my own. But I was trusting in this moment because oh, we was far away, etc. But I used the last of my cash at the supermarket because originally, ignore my little pimples, but originally it's the trifecta of pimples. <laughs> originally at the dinner table, I was going to get a to-go box, get my check, and take my ass on. But I did not have cash on me and I'm so blown about that. So mad at myself for that. Like, I really used the last at the supermarket and then the day ran right into dinner like 30 seconds later as soon as we got back. So I was like, oh, it'll be fine. It'll be a good vibe. I didn't think that was gonna happen. So, but yeah, please always have cash on you because my ass is ready to call a taxi, baby. I had Wi-Fi there and everything. Uh, I felt stuck. Even when they got to the party place after, I was like, I didn't know y'all was still partying. I was about to walk and find a taxi. And then there was a sketchy security guard on the street. He's like, I'll take you. It's just, you know. But I'm really grateful. I do want to say thank you to the friend that brought me home and thank you to the friend who allowed that friend to use their car to bring me home. And, you know, I apologize for the inconvenience, but if the vibe's not the vibe, I'm not staying. It's, it's not a personal thing. It's not me being a brat or me being a party pooper and me wanting attention. It's just, I know other people would not deal with that. If I was at a table with all my American friends, and we was talking in some slang or whatever language that somebody else did not know. And they just sat there for two hours and none of my people engaged or whatever. I would, I, no, that's not how we move in. But anyways, I feel good. Good morning. We're gonna start off the day reading. And on a beautiful note, we gonna keep on. Cause I ain't got time to worry about stuff like that. Like I said, it's not a thing. I just wanted to talk about it. I'll see y'all.
literally got almost stranded in Tokyo because a date was mad I went fucking and having cash allowed me to call the taxi back to my area because he tricked me into staying in that area missing the metro like the sleazeball he was so you know don't be too trusting with anybody if I, if I just forgot to get cash that's the one thing I messed up with yesterday otherwise I would have no explanation just <laughs> but it's all good I made it home safe and I appreciate you know the logistics of getting me home safe and I'll be staying home minding my business <laughs> and I'm going to be handling some calls and planning out some stuff because I got two weeks left and I need to go ahead and plan the next portion of my trip and a whole bunch of stuff I got to handle at home blah 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 so yeah <laughs>